what's up guys so for today's video i'm gonna tell you what are the disadvantages of this epson l3110 printer so i know you want to know this because you're here so just stay with me So first guys, regarding with the photocopier of this printer, it's analog. So since it's analog, we're going to manually press this button here. So we're going to manually press the number of copies that we would like to recopy. So the disadvantage of that is if you're going to recopy a lot, then there would be instance that you will miscount it since there's no screen provided here on how many numbers of copies that you would like to recopy and also if you're going to recopy a lot then in the middle of copying it will stop by itself it for it will pause for at least 30 seconds i guess so but it will just continually um recopy though and then we are only allowed to print 30,000 copies so if we reach that limit then we'll have to bring this printer back to their center in, a, in order for them to reset it so it will be really hassle but since this printer is programmed that way then we can do nothing about it so we'll just have to bring it there well um but this printer is just light so it will just be easy for us to bring it there but still it's a hassle right but the advantage of this um, printer it provides a high quality as you can see it provides provide us a clear copy right so we're gonna try this auto printing of this printer so uh, we'll have just to make sure the right information here uh, about the size and make sure you choose the photo paper and then we're gonna try what would be the outcome of this photo print. We should uh, seldomly use this uh, type of paper so unfortunately we are not allowed to frequently use this paper if you don't want to lose enough the paper feeder of your printer so if you don't want um, if you don't want a lot of paper to be eaten by this paper then you have to seldomly use this photo paper here um, yeah because it's just designed for documents though you can also uh, print a photo but you should seldomly use it if you don't want to loosen up the paper feeder of your printer alright guys for this printer it has also it will also provide you an option for a black and white and colored photocopy so that would be a great in total this printer has a good performance though of course there's a disadvantages but it has a good performance printer so that will be all for this video and thank you for watching guys so let's all be well bye